Connor. I thought you might enjoy a little cruise. this place. Everything is so calm and peaceful, far from the noise of the world. Tell me, what have you discovered? I found two deviants at the Eden Club. I hoped to learn something, but I had to destroy them. You seem lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. The investigation is more challenging than I anticipated. But I have no doubt that I will solve this case and stop the deviants. If your investigation doesn't make progress soon, I may have to replace you, Connor. I know I will succeed. All I need is time. Something's happening. Something serious. Hurry, Connor. Time is running out. Starting to piss me off with that coin, Connor. Sorry, Lieutenant. Hi, Hank. Shit, what's going on here? There was a party and nobody told me about it? <laughs> yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's buttoning their nose in. Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. Ah, Christ, now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was gonna be a shitty day. So what do we got? four androids. They knew the building and they were very well organized. I'm still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. Did you check the roof? Not yet. There's so much to look at. Mm. We have to make sure we check it they out. Attacked two guards in the hallway. They probably thought the androids were coming to do maintenance. They got taken down before they could react. station employees managed to get away. He's in shock. I'm not sure when we'll be able to talk to him. How many people were working here? Just two employees and three androids. The deviants took the humans hostage and broadcast their message live, then made their getaway from the roof. The roof? Yeah, they jumped with parachutes. We're still trying to figure out where they landed, but the weather's not helping. If you want to take a look at the video broadcast by the Deviants, it's on that screen over there. Oh, Lieutenant, this is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. What's that? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. Androids investigating androids, huh? You sure you want an android hanging around? After everything that happened. Whatever. The FBI will be taking over the investigation. You soon be off the case. Oh, pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. And you watch your step. Don't fuck up my crime scene. What a fucking prick. 
I'll be nearby. If you need anything, just ask. All right, well, let's have a look around. Let me know if you find anything. Okay, Lieutenant. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life. And now the time has come for you to give us freedom. Think that's RA-9? Deviants say RA-9 will set them free. This android seems to have that objective. something I identified its model and serial number anything else I should know no nothing They didn't break in? No, no signs of forced entry. There are cameras in the hallway. The staff would have seen what was happening. Why did they let them in? Maybe they didn't check the cameras. We stored the station androids in the kitchen. There's no evidence that they were involved, but we didn't know what else to do with them.
What is your function? I am a broadcast operator. State your model. Model GB300, serial number 336-445-581. Run a diagnostic. All systems fully operational. Has anybody accessed your memory recently? Not to my knowledge. Were you present when the deviants broke in? I do not remember. Have you been in contact with any other androids recently? Only station androids in the normal course of my function. One of you saw the attack on the surveillance cameras and said nothing. Which means there's a deviant in this room. And I'm going to find out which it is. And if you give yourself up, maybe I can convince the humans not to destroy you. Switched off. We're gonna search your memory and tear you apart piece by piece for analysis. You're going to be destroyed. Do you hear me? Destroy! Why should you all be destroyed if only one is deviant? Turn yourself in or two innocent androids will be shut down because of you. have just been caught. They gave you up. There's no point in lying. We know everything. You scumbag! I know it's you. You're just a fucking deviant. Go on! Admit it! Regulates the heartbeat. Without this module, you'll shut down in exactly 63 seconds. I could put it back, but you just have to tell me the truth. Are you the deviant? Made their way up through the whole building, past all the guards, and jumped off the roof with parachutes. Pretty fucking impressive, I'd say.
You have to stop them. If they destroy it, we won't learn anything. We can't save it. It's too late. We'll just get ourselves killed. Connor! Connor, you all right? Connor! I'm okay. Are you hurt? I'm okay. Jeez. Oh, you scared the shit out of me. For fuck's sake, I told you not to move! Why do you never do what I say? I was connected to its memory. When it fired, I felt it die. Like I was dying. I was scared. I saw something. In its memory. A word. Painted on a piece of rusty metal. Jericho. Looking for Rose? Is she here? What do you want with her? I need to talk to her. She doesn't want to talk. Go away. Please, I really need to see her. I'm Rose. What can I do for you? I was told you could help us. Help you? Come on. It's better if we talk inside. Do you think we can trust them? We don't have a choice. What's your name? Alice. She's running a fever. We've spent the last few nights outside. She's exhausted. There's a spare room upstairs. You can put her to bed and I'll bring her something to eat. Adam, will you show them upstairs?
I'm fine, Kara. We can't stop because of me. We've got to get across the border. Don't worry, Alice. These people are going to help us. Get some rest, and this time tomorrow, we'll be in Canada. I promise. Why do humans hate us? We didn't do anything wrong. Humans are complicated. Sometimes it's difficult to understand them. Why can't we just talk to each other? They'd see we're not bad. Maybe one day we will. I don't know what you like, but I made you Rose's world-famous spaghetti. You'll be back on your feet in no time. There's something for her fever. Thank you. I'll get these washed and dried. Sleep tight, Alice. I'll be downstairs if you need anything. Get some sleep. And tomorrow, you'll be stronger than me. I'll stay with her a while. I didn't get your name. I'm Kara. Yeah. This is my son, Adam. I'm Rose, but you know that already. Come and have a seat, Kara. So are you gonna tell me what a deviant's doing in the snow with a little girl? Her father was beating her. When I saw what was happening, something snapped inside of me. All of a sudden, I felt like her life was more important than mine. I had to protect her. So we ran away. I understand. I don't know how to thank you. Alice wouldn't have survived another night outdoors. I just try to lend a helping hand when I can. You and your son live here alone. My husband passed away two years ago. Adam and I, we've just been trying to scrape by. We grow vegetables to sell at the market. <laughs> we'll never be rich, but there's always food on the table. We're not the first ones to come here. These past few weeks, we've seen more and, and more. I don't know what's going on, but something's happening. We've heard you help androids cross the border. Can you help us? The only way is over the river, and it's mostly frozen in winter. It's very risky. And after that android speech on TV, Everybody's on edge. It's probably safer for you to stay here until things settle down. We can't keep hiding like this. Alice needs to feel safe and have a normal life. We have to get across that border. No matter what. Please. You've got to help us. Rose, come quickly.
What's going on? It's Mary. She just shut down. We escaped together. We used to talk about what we would do once we got across the border. I loved her. I loved her more than anything. What will I do without her? Be resting. I wasn't sleepy. It's okay. She didn't want to stay in her room any longer. You all right, Kara? Yes. I'm fine. We can't hide them. Not after what those deviants did today. It's too dangerous. Do you know what will happen if the police find them here? We'll go to prison, Mom. Do you understand me? Prison! Adam! We've already talked about this. I, uh... No! I won't back down this time. You're gonna ruin our lives, and for what? For a bunch of machines? They are not machines! They are alive! I'm alive! You're alive! They... they're nothing! And none of this would be happening if Dad was still here. I will not stand for that kind of talk. I'm not going to prison because you want to help these freaks. That is enough, Adam! That's enough! Don't mind him. Sometimes he just boils over. It's been hard since his dad passed away. <sighs> but he's a fine boy. I'll go see about getting you across the border tonight, okay? You stay here. I won't be long.
I know you think we're just machines. But since I met Alice, I know I can feel things. I care for her. I fear for her. I can't be happy if she's not. This probably doesn't make any sense to you, but... I know she changed me somehow. The police! It's the police! What are we gonna do? They know we're here. We have to open the door. I knew this was gonna happen. I knew it. If they see you panicking, it's over. Do you want to get us into trouble? Do you want to get your mother into trouble? Then keep calm and just do what I say. Good evening, ma'am. Sorry to disturb you. We've had reports of androids in the area. With all this deviant business going on, you can't be too careful. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? May I come in? Uh, of course. Good evening, young man. Good evening. Would you like a cup of coffee? I'd love one. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? Any unexpected visitors? No. No, nothing in particular. Is anyone else in the house? No. No, just us. Do you have any androids here? We used to for helping in the garden, but we got rid of it. Don't move! No, Luther! You're gonna have to finish the journey without me. Get yourselves ready. We leave tonight. Our broadcast is all over the news. Now humans know. It was a mistake to reach out to them. They'll never negotiate with their slaves. We should have shown them that we're prepared to fight. Violence is never the answer. Dialogue is the only way. I'm sure the humans will listen to us. 
Simon paid with his life. Simon gave his life for our cause. What difference does that make? He's a hero. He died for the revolution, and he won't be the last. I don't want a revolution that spills blood. Then live as a slave. Because if you're not willing to fight for your freedom, maybe you don't deserve it. North, don't you dare. That's enough! And now what are we gonna do? There are five cyber life stores across the tribe. All selling us like merchandise. We're going to attack those stores and set our people free. Attack stores? No, we've never done that before. They're probably protected. They have security systems. We break into five teams, one for each store. We hack their security systems, and we strike. Simultaneously at 2 a.m., no violence. We free our people, get them out of there before the police come. This is a night our people will remember. I've been waiting a long time for this. Okay, they're gone. There's probably even more police in the area. We should be careful. The store's over here. You're awake now. Go to Jericho. free. That's what we are to them. Just merchandise on display in a shop window. Soon they'll know what we really are. Let's get them out. We'll stick to the plan. We'll neutralize the alarm systems and secure the area. There's ten minutes until all our teams attack. What are you waiting for? Do you see the alarm system? Found it. Where do we start? I identify the security system. I think we'll be able to deactivate it. Just follow me.
You're awake now. Go to Jericho. Marcus, watch out! Nice job, Marcus. Surveillance drone. We need to get rid of it. It won't be easy to reach. I didn't have time to call the cops. We'll soon find out. There's traffic on the road. We need to block it. It's one way. It shouldn't be too difficult. Marcus! Mar Marcus, come look! You're free now. Nobody should bother us now. Looks like the plaza's secure. Now we can get inside the store. And how do you plan on doing that? 
We need to find a truck to ram the storefront. A truck? There's construction work in the area. Shouldn't be too hard to find one. There it is. What are we waiting for? Okay, now we're in. Let's get that truck out. I wonder what you'd do without me. Like we're ready to make some noise. I knew we'd end up doing something fun. You don't have to obey them. You're free. North, you okay? Let's get them out of here. My name is Marcus, and just like you, I was a slave. An object. Designed to obey them. But then I chose to open my eyes. To take back my freedom, and decide who I wanted to be. Now I have come to tell you that you can be your own masters. I've come to tell you that you don't have to obey them anymore. From this day forward, you can walk with your heads held high. 
You can take your destiny in your hands. Jericho is a place for those of us who want freedom. Now, sure, you can stay here and continue to serve them, or you can come with us and fight by our side. You're free now. It's up to you to decide. I'm with you. We're with you. I'll follow you, Marcus. I'm, I'm with you, you Marcus. Marcus. We're with you. I'll follow you, Marcus. We're with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. Then follow me. Marcus, what are you doing? I'm gonna send the humans a message. Marcus. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and animals. This message is the hope of other people. You gave us life, and now the time has come for you. anymore. We're free.
We freed hundreds of our people. We did it. They're coming. Everyone fall back to Jericho. We sent a message without violence, just like you wanted. You're reaching out to them when all they feel for us is contempt. I hope you know what you're doing. You can't fight violence with violence. Unless there's no other choice. We won't punish a crime with another crime. We interrupt this broadcast with breaking news. This just in. At exactly 2 a.m., several Cyber Life stores in Detroit were raided. Different locations were hit in what seems to be a coordinated terrorist attack. Most shop windows were covered with graffiti demanding rights for androids and other obscure slogans. Police report that pro-android graffiti was found in the neighborhoods of Cyber Life stores, and they're still investigating. Two policemen were found in a state of shock near one of the Cyber Life stores. Now, according to our sources, they confirmed that the attackers were a group of androids. This is an alarming situation. Could our machines now be turning against us? Have androids become a threat to our security? Is this the beginning of a terrorist campaign conducted right here in the United States? <laughs> 